So, good morning, children. Back again, New Year, 2021. Uh, so we are. This is the first class of biology. Uh, we, it would be nice if you're in the classroom teaching, but that's not possible. We're going to go online, and this is how we're going to continue. Okay. So, what we're going to do is uh, the books that has been prescribed for you. You may not uh, that book. You please order for it because we'll be needing it later on. But for now, the first chapter in the book consists of plant tissues and all, which we are not going to do. So we'll deal with uh, cells, okay? Because if you don't know about cells, how can you go about plant tissues and animal tissues and all? Because the idea and the knowledge of cells are very important, okay? So as I was uh, going through the book, this book is not exactly recommended for you, but just for reference, I've been using it. Okay, so all plants and animals are made up of a single unit called the cell. They are the basic building blocks. The definition of cell is given as is the structural and functional unit of all unique beings. Okay, structural, the way an organism looks, the way an organism is perceived, comes under the structural framework. Functional, everything that happens in the body happens in the cells okay so cellular activities helps in the proper functioning of an organism okay. now the cell was discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665 and one of the first uh, things that they how was it discovered is they took a slice of a cork cell okay so, in fact, they took a slice of a cork. A cork is a uh, woody material, so it is usually used in wine bottles and all as a cap. Okay, they took a slice and under a rudimentary microscope, one of the first uh, microscopes, it was a crude form of microscope, they saw this structure. Okay, a similar structure like this. So, these are the empty spaces inside the structure. So, that's how the cell was discovered. And later on, more advancement took place and there were a lot of things that happened and a lot of information was gathered, a lot of studies was done, a lot of research was done, then they saw what the cell was all about. Okay. So basically we have two types of cells. We have an animal cell and we have a plant cell. Okay. Okay. So, as I told you, every living organism is made up of cells and the way the cells function depends and it's different from uh, different organisms, okay, as in I'm saying about plants and animals, and cells are different, okay, but they have cells, right. So, these, there are two types of cells, plant cells and animal cells, okay. So, and each and every cell has a lot of small structures inside it okay like i'm just going to make a very rough sketch of a cell uh, this so it has a nucleus then there is the cytoplasm okay then there are cell organelles let's call this mitochondria okay then you have uh, back Okay, so I don't know whether I should be doing uh, vacuoles and 
there is in fact when I will be uploading the diagram with the notes I'll be sending all those things okay then we have the nucleus then we have the endoplasmic reticulum okay it was like there is like a Okay, there's hardly any space, so, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. So these are the things that are there. Uh, okay, so, right. So, um, can you just mute it? Is it there? Okay. So these are basically what I'm trying to tell you is there are different components in a cell. These are called the cell organelles, and each and every cell organelle has its own function. They are that's got its own duty to do, without which a cell cannot function, right? A cell cannot work. In, in the, the nucleus is the controlling, there's nucleolus inside, there's genetic material, there are so many other things. I'll be uploading the diagram, okay? So, so, so these cell organelles, uh, so basically the first cell organelles we're going to talk about is, let's say, uh, which is very important both in plant cells and animal cells it is the cell membrane okay cell membrane is the outermost cover in a animal cell but in a plant cell there is uh, another cover called the cell wall okay so I'm going to get to that so cell membrane is a kind of a film, a covering around a cell. It gives a kind of a shape to the cell also, a slight protection to the cell. And it regulates the movement of structures inside the cell and out of the cell. There are certain things that the cell needs to function. So it's a selectively permeable membrane. It's like a border. It's like a gate which decides who goes in and who goes out. Okay. So whatever, whatever nutrients that the cell needs to function properly, through this membrane selectively permeable membrane it goes inside okay and after the cell uses certain things has to be taken out of the cell expelled out of the cell it is also done through the cell membrane okay in plant cells there is another structure it's like it's called the cell wall okay it's called the cell wall it is made of cellulose and it's a Cellulose is a dead structure, it is not a living thing, okay, and it gives that turgidity, it gives that support to the cell, it makes the cell strong. Understood? It gets supposed to the support to the cell. That is why if you see plants are usually like whatever wood that is, after you cut it up, once it dries up, it becomes hard. Right? It's all because of the cell wall. Okay. It is a very protective structure, it gives a uh, shape to the cell also in fact in fact plants have a certain the trees you find them hard and all it's because of the cell wall that is there okay so this is also permeable only not selectively permeable it's pretty much permeable because since it's already dead things can go inside and go out but the most important structure besides that is cell membrane in fact this is one of the basic difference between a plant cell and an animal cell animal cell doesn't have a cell wall plant cell has a cell wall Okay, now after cell membrane, we have the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a gel-like gel matrix. Okay, it is not exactly fluid. It's not exactly. It's not exactly liquid or not exactly solid. It's like semi-liquid or semi-solid. It's like a gel-like structure. Okay, all the cell organelles are embedded in the cytoplasm. Okay, so the. Uh, all the organelles that is there in a cell it is found in the cytoplasm right now then we have after cytoplasm we have nucleus what happens in the nucleus is it's the controlling center of the cell in fact in a school there is a principal principal decides how the school runs how everything is done uh, okay so like in a country also they have the presidents some countries they are presidents some countries they are prime ministers and presidents you know the authoritative figure who drives the country like in a country we have pm modi prime minister modi right so the nucleus is usually the largest organelle in the cell 
and it is large and somewhat spherical lying near the center of the cytoplasm. It is spherical lying in the center of the cytoplasm. The nucleus also has a nuclear membrane and inside the contents of the nucleus is called nucleolus. Okay. Uh, and inside the nucleus also there is a cytoplasm sort of a material is called nucleoplasm okay so at class 7 level what you need to know is nucleus controls the cell okay genetic material hereditary everything is there inside the nucleus understood it controls how things how the cell behaves what the cell needs to do and all these things right so that is what we have about nucleus then we have the endoplasmic reticulum I think I've done it, yeah. Endoplasmic reticulum, okay. What does the endoplasmic reticulum do? It's a system of complex tunnels that are spread to all the cell. The nuclear envelope joins with the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum, the nuclear membrane. See, that's why I made the endoplasmic reticulum out here, okay. The function of the, there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, but for class 7, we'll just concentrate on endoplasmic reticulum. The function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum is to synthesize and transport the proteins once they have been made by the ribosomes. Okay, so there's another uh, thing, uh, organelle called ribosomes, where proteins are made. In fact, on endoplasmic reticulum, you'll see a lot of dots like this. They're called ribosomes. Okay, it's a site for protein synthesis where proteins are made. So, endoplasmic reticulum is basically it helps in the synthesis and transfer of the proteins once they have been made by the ribosomes okay so we'll be doing this much till now today children uh, we'll be continuing with this lessons later on i'll be uploading uh, with diagrams and notes also okay so have a great day thank you